This is Boca versus the world. It's Joe Galli, Val Capone, and Kyle Davis on the call. Val, welcome to the commentary booth here on NWA Program. I'm so excited to be here. What a treat it is to be sitting between the two of you. Oh, this is so spectacular. BRCW, the National Wrestling Alliance, we're happy to be here, and we hope you enjoy it, because this episode is going to be action-packed. Let's get to it right now. This is wrestling as it's meant to be. and give the fans what they want, that's championship matches. So, Mark Long will be defending his title here tonight. And Lakai will defend his Boca Raton Championship Wrestling tonight also. Just in the spirit of things, since we really want to kick things off with a bang, Lakai's match is going to start right now. So everybody, let's hear it for him. Come on! Get him up, get him up. Let's go! The PRCW Heavyweight Championship on the line now! Right now, baby! Let's go! All right! Whoa, 
whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Jamie Stanley? That dude? America's jawline? A lot of things to call it. Yeah, you got a lot of things. Listen, listen. What is this I hear about your opponent, Odinson, missing his flight? Oh, how tragic is that? It looks like you don't have an opponent now, Lakai. No, wait a minute. Never fear, because America's jawline, patent pending, that dude, Jamie Stanley, is here to save this show, this godforsaken promotion, and all of you godforsaken people. Put Whoa! Us now, wait a minute. That's uncalled for. Yeah, that's unnecessary. Know your crowd. I, isn't he Joe Alonso's manager? Well, so, yes. Mr. Lakai, if that is your real name, uh. listen up really closely, because this is what's going to happen. I'm gonna come in that ring. I'm gonna slap that stupid head off your head, take that championship from you, and show you and all of you idiots why I am the one. I am built different. I am Jamie Stanley. You are annoying as hell, too. True. <laughs> Facts. Well, I think that dude might get hit with that you shovel in just about a minute. I agree with him, though. I don't like that hat. Well, is it because you're not wearing it? No I, 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 can, I can put in a couple of favors. I am a component. I like how you do, like, the shovel. Until it meets. Yeah, yeah, until, it, that, that's that's until, until you're wearing it like a hat, I suppose. <laughs> oh, my God, there's that, that dude. Shot. Jamie Stanley, BRC Heavyweight Championship match right here in the Boca Black Box. And Jamie Stanley wants to make his mark in wrestling Wait, history, standing on the throat of Lakai. Yeah, Jamie Stanley, that's uncalled for. Like, okay, so I know about him as Joel Alonzo's manager. I, you would think that he would want to lead by example. This is not the example that you should be setting for Joel Alonzo. He wanted the title shot. This match is for the BRCW Heavyweight Championship. It's an opportunity. And perhaps that's the message he's trying to send to Joel Alonzo is you see an opportunity and you go for it. You try to grab the bull by the horse, but oh my gosh, look at the power and the strength of the champion. Scrap the bull definitely on that one. I mean, this is the two-time Boca Raton Championship Wrestling Champion. Like, you have to understand, Lakai is nobody to mess with. He is so strong. He is so powerful, all 252 pounds of him. You know, he came to the ring with that shovel, which is just suited because Jamie Stanley with a lot of BS, he's going to have to shovel it out for him. Well. Jamie Stanley with the cheap shot, trying to take advantage here of the champ. Lakai catching him. The power. Yeah, raw power. What goes up must come down, sometimes harder than you would want, especially in Jamie Stanley's situation. Now, fellas, Lakai did win. Oh my. Oh, wow. Oh, no water in the pool off the Vader bomb. Jamie Stanley taking the opportunity, stepping up to the top rope. It's a dangerous position to be in. Flies through with a drop kick, targeting the midsection of the champion. Now into the cover. Looking to win a belt here. Kick out at one. Yeah, it wasn't even one, it was barely half. Yeah. Alfonso right there, perfect positioning. What you can expect to see from such a legendary referee. We need to get a start here as an official in 1980. How brilliant. Looks great for I wish I looked that great. He's got hair. <laughs> Jamie Stanley now puts the pressure on in the corner. Rolls through with the snapmare. And the super kick to the bridge of the nose. All it takes is one hit to knock him out. Now we're going to cover. Stanley can do it. Kick it. Again, I got to tell you, Lakai is so strong, so powerful. It's going to take a lot more from that dude than a measly, barely laying over him. Sprawl, crawl. He was not prepared for this opponent. He was supposed to have Odinson. Travel issues as Jamie Stanley. You can't trust the man. He was being honest about that. Stepping up in the ring, this could change the entire game plan for the time. Card always subject to change. Jamie Stanley ever the opportunist. And once again, still a manager of Joe Alonzo, who is also in competition later on during Boca versus the world. That looked a little low, that kick there. Now, kudos to Jamie Stanley that he did take the opportunity, but I do have to, I do have to point out to you fellas that this is our inaugural champion right here, Lakai. Now, he is not looking... 
Oh, right there. It was looking a little frustrating as the fans from Boca, you can hear them being annoyed by that dude. But Lakai fought so hard for this title in this very room. This is where our dog Wait a minute. Was. Now, before you talk there, look at Lakai coming down strong here. I think you might have actually been right. This man's unstoppable. This guy, he's eat, he eats wrestlers, but he's eating those axe handles like, like they're brunch. You have to understand, he fought six men in a ladder match to obtain the title the very first time he won it. And then he won it back off the giant Jack Tallis here in Boca to be the, our first ever two-time champion. Drugging him up, pure strength. Where he oh! Face first into the top turnbuckle. Stanley wrapped up, full Nelson slam center of the ring. It's that unreal, unnatural farmer's strength. It just, it's, you cannot explain it. Up and down with a big elbow drop right into the stern of that dude. The best thing Jamie could do right now is make his way to those ropes, because otherwise, dead center of the ring, I don't see this ending well for him. Stanley cut, oh, there it is! Lands him big time and hard. The last dance, and it is a last dance for Jamie Stanley. The winner of this match, and still BRCW Heavyweight Champion, this is Lakai! Another big time victory against an impromptu opponent. What a standing ovation from this crowd here at the Boca Black Box. Boca versus the world, a partnership with the NWA. We'll have more of these incredible matches coming up after the break. Get ready to witness the greatest spectacle in professional wrestling as the National Wrestling Alliance presents NWA 75, our 75th anniversary pay-per-view extravaganza. Live from the legendary Chase Park Plaza in St. Louis, Missouri, Saturday, August 26th, and Sunday, August 27th. History will be made as NWA World Heavyweight Champion Tyrus and NWA World Women's Champion Camille defend their prestigious titles while EC3, Matt Cardona, Chris Adonis, and countless other stars unleash the fury of intense competition. Tickets are available now starting at just $29.95. Secure your seats today at nwatakes.com and take your place in the storied legacy of the NWA. right here. They want to hold gold all over the world, including in the National Wrestling Alliance. And if they can get a victory over the 2023 Crockett Cup winners, they could definitely be in a pole position for the NWA United States or the NWA World Tag Team Championships. And you said the right words there, my friend. Opportunity indeed. They've been here with BRCW since day one. They're going to represent in this matchup. You can hear the excitement for the crowd getting behind their tag team favorites here in Boca. second-guessing this now. You can hear the crowd right now. Island Kings, they're here. Bella's yeah. wrong, ladies and gentlemen, and here we go. Looks like it's going to be Jaka starting off against Trevor Murray. You can tell a real man who's not to be messed with by whether or not he wears footwear in a ring. No shoes means that's a man that's dangerous. Oh, yeah. No playing around, indeed. A high threshold for pain, and he's going to need it going up against... Trevor Murdoch. 
Bell and rings here we again. go. And there we go. The referee was asking for it for a second time, and now here we go. Yeah, that's a referee laying in the center of the ring, trying to get some control amongst these four chaotic individuals. It's going to be tough to do that. I mean, already all four men in the ring going at it. It's a battle, and man, what a chop. just from the sounds of the collision of flesh upon flesh upon flesh of oh my stars. Well, there's definitely a receipt here, and it's not just for travel reimbursement. Knox and Murdoch, eight drop kicks, sent all the way to the floor, and the Island Kings are looking fantastic in the early goings in this match. It just goes to show that any tournament, the 2023 Crockett Cup, this tag team was not in it. What would have happened if they were? Would history be different? We're finding out right now, Joe. Break. They need to have a little conference between Knox and Murdoch. We do need to get some semblance of order here in this matchup for sure. And I mean, you're looking at the differentials in height and size, but I mean, the strength and power, I just don't know if there is a difference in the end because the endurance that you see in the Island Kings is just unmatched. Speed and aggression sometimes can outweigh muscle and pounds and everything else here. This is a battle of two different tag teams with two different ways of looking at things. I'm just happy I get to miss it here in person. Not only that, Kyle, but I mean, talk about the lineage that the Island Kings are coming from. I mean, with all of these incredible support Moment wrestlers having that there, basically being born into the sport of professional wrestling. It's got to give you an edge, but Trevor Murdoch is stuffing that out with a big knee to the midsection. You know, Trevor Murdoch is a multi-time tag team champion throughout every promotion he's ever been in, Joe. And right now, even if you have that lineage, you know, experience sometimes can outweigh everything else. Yes, and there's a bit of brutality going on directly into the turnbuckle. We're looking at a, a smidge of a break being taken. And there, what a oh, chop oh, oh. on the former world champion. And sometimes, Joe, that's all you need is just a bit of a breather. Oh, Boom, oh. big tumbling right into the corner. Spinning heel kick, the heel getting right into the temple of Trevor Murdoch. Big time close line, takes down Murdoch. Jakob into the cover, one count. Oh. Don't tell Knox and Murdoch this, but I think I might have a new favorite tag team. I, will, I won't let them know if you don't. Tag. You don't know yet. I don't know yet, but I can I tell you this much. Oh, look at that tag team continuity. Are absolutely rolling here on their home turf. Rolling through, double headbutts on Trevor Murdoch. Now into the cover, shoulders down, kick out. Trevor is dazed. Those hard heads hitting him all over the place right there. Knox just waiting for that tag. Can Murdoch get it, or will they keep on putting on the heat? Luda coming off the ropes, gets caught, oh no! my god, Spine Buster! Such air, oh. such impact! That was Spine on Pine, and a tag was made to Noxy. We call him the Wrecking Crew combination for a reason, and that was one of the reasons. Big punch there. Wow. Jo that was just brutal, Joe. That was, that was rough. One of the most dangerous strikers, one of the most dangerous brawlers in the NWA, Mike Knox. I don't know if the crowd's cheering on Knox abuse or trying to get the Island Kings back in this. I, I, I really do think that they're trying to get the Island Kings back in this. They're very much behind the strongest, the only brutal tag team here in Boca Raton. They've been here since day one. I mean, they are the heart and soul of the tag team. Oh, here. look at this! Beautiful! Spin it out with the DDT. Knox, center of the ring. Maluda, cover, shoulders down, kick out. So close, just a fraction of an inch off. Mike Knox taken by surprise. All they need is just a little bit more, just Ten. inches, just moments more. Can they do this? Now with a headbutt. Again, Knox came into this not thinking straight. Like it, they thought it was going to be a vacation. Now it's a nightmare trip to Florida. For do you think that they did? Do you think that uh, Knox and Murdoch did their homework investigating what the Island Kings are all about? I know their homework usually involves a lot of beer. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> Murdoch with a knee and a distraction, but a shot from Jacob. But the cross body, the cross body from Knox. Now into the cover, shoulders down. Reaching out and grabbing the ropes. No, no, right there. That's that's excellent officiating from the referee as well. The Island Kings have shown me something that I did not expect to see today. I can tell you this much. I see them possibly being contenders in the future. Wow. Wow. Beautiful side brush and leg sweep immediately into the cover kick out.
Murdoch obviously knew I said that out loud and is now taking some sort of rage with him, more aggressive than ever. Back suplex, plants him center of the ring. Now into the cover on Jaka. Lateral press. Oh, shoulders are down now. Kick out. You can hear the crowd was trying to get the Island Kings once again riled up. They're looking for all the Shaolin fight from New York. Those 12 chambers need to be reignited. This match has been a battle. I see some gentlemen in the locker room peeking their way out here. They are watching this. This is our car crash that everybody backstage is just happy they're not a part of. Locked him out like the sun in the eclipse. Jakas got to make a tag to his cousin. I don't know if he's going to be able to. This could end the match here, but no. The tenacity of this young man staying in this fight after a brutal beatdown. Yeah, Sean is trying to reach in and do what he can to inspire a tag, but I, I just don't know that it's going to happen, fellas. The crowd definitely behind the Island Kings here. He's feeling it. He's fighting up to his feet. He just needs to make that tag. He's still in this match. They still have an opportunity to come back. Elbows to the midsection. Jaka off the ropes, but he's a huge boot by Knox. So dazed, didn't even think about going for the tag instead. Just went off those ropes, just an impulse. And unfortunately, the tag was made between oh. Knox and Murdoch. Oh, no. Huge oh. leg drop, and this could be oh, all she no. wrote for the Island Kings. Again, lateral push, kick out. Grabbing that wrist, pointing it to the ground there. Trevor Murdoch making sure he's got those basics down, not just the violent aggression. Yeah, look at that, cutting off his opponent. Great job by Murdoch realizing where he needed to be. And unfortunately for Maluda, not knowing exactly where he was in the ring. He went to the wrong turnbuckle. Oh, no. Right now, he probably thinks he's on an island and not a peninsula. Yeah, Maluda went to the wrong turnbuckle. Something is stirring. Something is stirring. Wait he's biting him. He's oh biting him. He's wild. He's crazy. He's on the top rope. And he's got a huge oh. drop kick. Take down Trevor Murdoch. This is his chance. This is his opportunity. Can he make the tag? Can he make the tag to Sean? Does he feel like where he is, though, Joe? I, don't, I just don't think he does, Kyle. Hold on. Tag That's the tag. Is tag is made. In comes Knox. In comes Sean Malula. Fresh blood in the ring. Is exactly what the fans Knox has no idea what's going on right now, trying to push through with the power, but still. Bam! Big boot to the face. The Island Kings, huge opportunity here. Now up onto the middle rope, flies to the air. Trevor Murdoch tried to stop him. Cut the big man right down, and up he goes! Oh, here we go! Samoan drop! Samoan drop! Big time victory for BRC oh, No! So close! I thought that was oh. it. I bated breath. I thought I was about to have to announce the new winners of this match. Thank you for fanning me off. Yeah, that I, I that feel, was I feel like we both need it. This is a hot match. This is a hot match. That's exactly what you can expect to find here at BRCW and with the NWA. Shining Wizard right in the face. Jaka into the cover. Shoulders are down. And Trevor Murdoch breaks it up. Oh. I really thought that was three. So did I. I thought you were going to have to break that bell, Joe. Double teaming on Murdoch right here. They are in a oh, ring. Straight in the center of the ring. Going to the top rope. Making the call. They need something big here to put away Knox and Murdoch. But Murdoch is stirring in the center of the ring. Now he's, yeah, he's up getting to his to feet. feet. Hold on, Knox cuts him off. Oh, coming down hard. Pop up. Oh no, he's and right Jaka. to the center of the oh, ring. No. We've seen this time and time again from Knox and Murdoch. Here it is. High low. My God. I think Jacob has got decapitated on that one. Rudimentary after into that. Into the cover. Gold here in the NWA. I know I'm dying to see that matchup. Competition like this only makes whoever you're in the ring with even better, Joe. The Island Kings gave it everything they had. Incredible showing for them, but Knox and Murdoch just too much. Too much.
much to handle here in BRCW. So now as it stands, that's one match in the favor of BRCW and one in the favor of NWA. I was going to say, who's keeping score, but now I know the answer. Balance. Balance uh -huh. the one keeping score, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. Wrestling fans, get ready for an action-packed spectacle like no other as the National Wrestling Alliance presents two thrilling nights of NWA Power TV taping. Mark your calendars for Monday, August 28th and Tuesday, August 29th as the shockwaves of our monumental 75th anniversary event bring the NWA back to Skyway Studios in Nashville, Tennessee. Witness the passion, the grit, and the raw athleticism as these modern-day warriors clash in pursuit of glory and championship gold. Don't miss your chance to be part of this unforgettable experience. Grab your tickets now at NWATix.com and secure your chance to feel the power. The National Wrestling Alliance, where history lives and legends are forged. Good moves, but oh, there he goes. He's got some rhythm. 
Is Jamie Stanley gonna, wait a minute. America's Jawline is now a America's Dance Line? I guess we'll find out. Something's lacking. Hold on, hold on. Cha Cha Charlie, distract. Oh my God! Should have Just known. completely obliterated from behind by Joe Alonzo. Put the boost to Cha Cha Charlie. Open up Charlie with a chop to the chest. That's a chop, chop, chop. Charlie fighting back. Get down to the corner. Alonzo going after the ribs now, forearm to the face. You know, Joe Alonzo is one of the most consistent athletes in the National Wrestling Alliance roster. No matter where he goes, everybody dislikes him. True story. Um, as somebody that's born and raised in Chicago, much like Joe, although I did grow up on the uh, north side, Joe is a south sider. Um, I've known him for pretty much the duration of his wrestling career, and I can say that you are 100% correct. Fantastic. Chicago representing here at the broadcast table and in the ring. Cha Cha Charlie, though, showing everybody what the Dominican Republic's all about. Sling Blade takes down Alonzo. I think not only was Joe distracted by the dancing, but I think he's also underestimating Cha Cha Charlie because Cha Cha Charlie has a very uh, special way of enjoying the wrestling ring. Not only does he have more fun than anyone, but he's also very skilled in the ring. Unique offense, to say the least, there, using his movement and everything else to both distract and dominate his opponents. Joe Alonzo now taking off come on, come back to the center ring, trying to bait in Cha-Cha Charlie. Cha-Cha Charlie not afraid for a fight, but is now getting smothered by Alonzo. Now, as you both noticed probably, Cha-Cha Charlie is a uh, never-ending energy, never-ending ball of energy, but he also has oh! supernatural strength as he Just, takes Joe down yeah. to the center of the mat. Absolutely, absolutely. That spine buster was definitely out of nowhere, and something that Joe Alonso wasn't expecting either. Going to the top rope right now. Looking for something big. Here at the Boca Black Box. Cha-Cha Press. Oh, no, no, no. Alonso launches Cha-Cha Charlie. Come on. Alonso lying in wait. Once again, Joe with the disrespect to his opponent. Or he just loves dancing. Who's to say? He's asking for it. Asking for a dance off? I would be surprised. It would, it would be a, a, an immediate victory for Joe Joe Charlie. If you that can't beat him in a wrestling match, you go another route. Oh, but look at this use of the ropes. He's trying to make sure Cha Cha Charlie can't Cha Cha anymore. He'd just be Charlie. Well, still, he would be great nonetheless, but yes, he would just be Charlie, and it would be sad for the fans here at Boca It Boca certainly Boca would. Boca. He'd have to find a chocolate factory without that Cha Cha. I feel like there's probably some here in Boca Raton. Fantastic. Charlie off the road. Oh, but no, Jamie Stanley. Referee was distracted. Joe Alonzo pulled him to the side. Didn't see the assist from America's jawline. The light off of that beach blonde hair off of Very distracted. Yeah, the shimmer off that one dangling earring. He's got a look, that's for sure. I did ask him, uh, I did ask, uh, that dude America's draw. Into the cover, shoulders down, kick out my cha-cha. I was asking Jamie Stanley in the locker room, I said, please, please, sir, tell me that you take that dangling earring out. And he said, yes, Val, I did learn the hard way. <laughs> you know, he's got the one ear pierced, because this way he gets two for one. He's got to buy his earrings. It's double the wearing. Right now, Joe Alonzo trying to wear down Cha-Cha Charlie in the center of the ring. But again, this, the supernatural strength of Cha-Cha Charlie, he was able to stand up and get away from his opponent into the tournament. Supernatural strength. If you look at him and say Cha-Cha three times, he will appear and, and dance. Have dance. You. Yes. Try that at home, kids. It's Joe Alonzo eats a big chop to the chest. Oh, but a poke to the eye. Alonzo cutting any corner he can to get an advantage over Cha Cha Charlie. Oh, but no, Jamie Stanley didn't see the reversal, ended up picking the ankle of his own man. America's jawline sometimes falls short on the intelligence. Turn around, Joe. Well, and he does. <laughs> Belly to back suplex. Pardon me, Kyle, but are you Cha Cha Charlie's choreographer? I would like to know. If I could make the moves that he does happen, I would not be a broadcast. European uppercut by Charlie. And he could be dancing his way to a victory now. Gaining momentum. Alonzo coming off the ropes. Towering back body drop. Hard on that mat there. 
Jamie Stanley, what advice does he have to give for his man right now? Get up. He put him in the situation. Yeah, we're seeing Jamie Stanley shaking his head right now, saying, no, this is not, this is not okay. Like, go running leg drop. Yeah, another running leg drop there. I'm thinking of the fans of Cha Cha Charlier very much so agreeing that it is perfectly okay. Even, even the commentators are starting to get dancing here in the booth. How can I was you hoping not? Didn't that, but it's I, infectious. That the elbow right across the throat, into the cover, shoulders down, kick out by Ella. So close. Now, Val, you said you're from Chicago. He's from Chicago. Chicagoans have a lot of fight. Do you think that Joe could come back? Or Cha Cha, does he have this one in the bag? Well, you know, I mean, Chicago is the second city. Wait a minute. Oh, but again, Jamie Stanley holding the arms. Straight up burned down to the ground. So even if you take Joe Alonzo all the way wait, down. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, Cha Cha over the top rope. Not a lot hard. of room there, right against the guardrail. Oh, that was rough. That was rough for everybody. Except for Jamie Stanley, who was able to sidestep. Maybe a little two-step. Yeah, that's yeah. something. I was going to say, that's a nice dance maneuver. Maybe he's joining the ranks of Cha-Cha Charlie's dance army. I do think Joe Alonso does have it in him. He is, again, quite oh. young, but 10 years of wrestling on those knees, on that spine. Alonso, springboard, into the cutter. Picture perfect. Center of the ring, into the cover. Big time upset kick out. Cha-Cha lifted his arm up right there. Those hips don't lie and those shoulders don't stay down. Joe is looking for the three. He only got the two count. Reversal there by Charlie. Alonzo in the corner. Over the top row. Charlie with the block. Alonzo goes face first into the turnbuckle down. Oh, grabbing the referee. Destruction again. Oh, Stanley goes hard into the guardrail. How was the ref not catching any of this? Well, you know, the, the lights are very bright. Sunset flip. Shoulders are down. Center of the ring. Oh, so close. The lights are very bright in here. He was a bit distracted by Joe Alonzo. It's very good at discretion. Backstabber. Oh, He's calling for it. Wait, is he going to put the hat on? He does get a lot of his magical powers from his hat. That hat. Well, maybe he doesn't need it. No, he's grabbing it. He's, he's grabbing it. He's looking for the mango splash. His version of the frog splash. The hat's on. Cha, 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 oh, cha. Oh, the Oh, my God. Alonzo pushing the referee again. Cha, cha, Charlie collapsing. The hat's off. The hat's off. Alonzo. Death Valley driver. Shoulders are down. The referee's not counting it, though. Oh, wait a minute. He's calling for the end. Hold on, I need to go figure out. He's calling for the bell, but... Wait a minute. This match is over either way, ladies and gentlemen. I have to imagine this is a disqualification, but Kyle Davis is getting an answer. What? The winner of this match via disqualification, Cha Cha Cha! I think that's the right call, Val. I could agree with you more, oh, my friend. Now. My God, the boots, the boots really put the Cha Cha Charlie after his victory via disqualification. You know, I take it back. I was questioning how the ref doesn't see any of this, and yet he saw when it back. Well, but yeah, when you put your hands on an official, that's an automatic DQ, my friend. Charlie trying to fight off this, this two on one assault. You can't push a referee. Oh, down. low blow, my God. Too many dance partners. Referee's calling for the bell. We need to get some assistance. We gotta get some help out here. No. Don't do it, Joe. Don't do it. Oh, face first. Get it out We gotta get some help out here. That doesn't count. Disgusting. No, Joe. This is not okay. Cha Cha Charlie winning the match. However, the people Look, this, stand tall at the end. This is far from over for Cha Cha Charlie. That's for sure. We gotta take a break. We'll be back. Get ready to witness the greatest spectacle in professional wrestling as the National Wrestling Alliance presents NWA 75, our 75th anniversary pay-per-view extravaganza. Live from the legendary Chase Park Plaza in St. Louis, Missouri, Saturday, August 26th, and Sunday, August 27th. History will be made as NWA World's Heavyweight Champion Tyrus and NWA World Women's Champion Camille defend their prestigious titles, while EC3, Matt Cardona, Chris Adonis, and countless other stars unleash the fury of intense competition. Tickets are available now, starting at just $29.95. Secure your seats today at nwatix.com and take your place in the storied legacy of the NWA. Opportunity here to hold gold in the NWA has been, has been a part 
of PRCW since the very beginning. But now he can be joining in with the National Wrestling Alliance and become a television champion. I mean, he is very, very hungry for this opportunity. He needs this show. Noah Sokoa needs this one. somebody that wants to bring you down. Thank you for pointing that out. It's not everybody, no, just those two guys. No, absolutely not. He is very beloved here. And so many people at Boca Raton Championship Wrestling love and support Noah Kokoa. They, they want to see nothing but success for the man. And I mean, I gotta say, him and Thomas Latmer, what a match. Not gonna lie, just love saying Noah Kokoa. Noah Kokoa. Okay, no shot sign of sportsmanship at the early goings of this matchup here. Emotions are running high. Tom Latimer, Koa Lock and Horn, center of the ring. Collar elbow tie up. Kyle, you're right, that's pretty evenly matched between these two. I mean, the size, the strength, the power, I'm just, wow, I'm very excited to see this matchup, honestly. You know, Val, it's got to play head games with you because it get to a point as a competitor that you're so acclimated to have advantages in certain ways. To have that negated like this right off the bat changes the entire plan. 100%. I mean, you're seeing 275 pounds out of Noah Kokoa, but just look at how hot Tom Latmer is. We all look at him. Yeah, no, so you don't need hard. to tell it's us. It's hard not to look at that. One of the most in shape human beings walking the planet right now. His wife is the NWA World Women's Champion. Champions, no champions. Brick house, indeed. 100%. As Latimer gets backed into the corner, he's had a very aggressive schedule as well. Recent matches, not only with the NWA, but also with AAA and several other independent promotions as well. He's had matches with Bully Ray, Fodder, and Jay Bradley as of late. Also, real men wear pink. You gotta respect that. Oh, yeah. Well, come on, look where we are. It's Boca, baby. Hey. Got my pink tie. I loved it. I missed the memo. An interesting chance here to see who actually is strong with the test of strength. Oh, Roman well, knuckle lock, but no, immediately broke the bike. Oh. Working that arm there, a lot of Tom Latimer's offense is lifting and slamming with those arms. Without yeah. those arms, he might have a disadvantage. 
he does have so much strength and so much power in his upper body, but also very much solid base on Tom Latimer. All around incredible athlete as Noah Kakoa gets to the ropes looking for a break. Ring awareness important as is strength in this match. And good separation of these two athletes by our referee, Bill Fonzi Alfonso. You know, it's nice to see a fair athletic contest here. Both men trying to keep it within the rules. I respect that. Double wrist lock. Around the waist, standing switch by Latimer. Latimer going into the ropes. Kakoa holding on. And looking for that clean break. You know, as I was looking at the matchups today, I was kind of wondering how this one was going to go. Was it going to be just ultimately brutal or just slow, methodical teardown? And you know, you, we did mention that Tom has been traveling so much. At a certain point, that wears on you, that not getting the rest, not getting the gym that you're used to here. Could this be the night where it all catches up? We're going to find out. Well, hang on a bit here, though, because Noah Kakoa does have a one-year-old baby girl. So you want to talk about sleepless nights, let's talk about having an infant at the house. But at the very same time, that is the inspiration for every single thing that he does these days. He is so hungry, as I said early on during his intro. He is doing everything he can to be the best provider that he can for that beautiful baby girl at home. Good luck takeover by Kakoa. He will take advantage after an elbow strike during a break. The champion makes more than the man who's not a champion, so this is an opportunity to put more food on the table for his family. Tom Latimer, that's going to be one thing to have to overcome there. Somebody wanting it, but doesn't want it more than Tom. I had a chance to talk to Tom before the matchup tonight, and I have to say, I mean, he is laser focused on holding on to that championship, hitting the lucky seven and challenging for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. I mean, it is the fastest path to do it. And Tom Latimer, he is getting pretty close as Noah Kakoa with the bypass and a leapfrog. Latimer, oh, block! Hip toss was blocked. Kakoa looking for the backslide. All leverage, which man will get it? His arms. The momentum of this matchup, it's like a seesaw back and forth. Up under the shoulders, Reps looking for the Hawaiian drop, looking for the Hawaiian drop. No, Latimer had it scouted. Now he's trying to get that cross face, get the cross face locked in. Kakoa had that scouted. And both oh. these guys have been doing their homework. The first non clean break we've seen in this match. Either Noah Kakoa is getting frustrated or he wants that title more than he wants to do the right thing. And I mean, Noah Kakoa is 100% TV ready, let's be real. He did have some experience a few years back. And so what better way to get himself back into the TV circuit than to take down the NWA World Television Champion in Tom Latimer. Did you hear that knocking? That's opportunity. Or it was a four yeah. to Tom Latimer. <laughs> into the jaw. I was going to say on Tom Latimer's jaw. And also, ouch, Nube Gusta. All the way ooh, out to the floor, came down hard. You're in the black box in Boca. You know, usually the 6.05 time limit would be in play. However, tonight for the 15 minute time limit, he's got time to put the pressure Ooh. on. Oh my gosh, Tom Latimer, the back of his head going right into the oh. turnbuckle of Kakoa, striking the steel. May have injured his left arm. Well, and it looked like the outside of that hand striking that steel. Oh my but God! Again, that spine oh, on geez. the ring post, Joe. Unforgiving steel, you hear it, but until you've touched and experienced it, you have no idea the damage that could be done right in that. And I'm not sure if either of you gentlemen saw that ring post did not budge. Oh, it, that was that was an incredibly tough moment for Tom Latimer. What is this? No Kakoa now is trying, now exposing the turnbuckles. But I fear the damage might have already been done. Back. Oh, absolutely. I mean. Tom Latimer is still down on the ground trying to regain his composure. He could have taken the count out, but still. Oh, oh no! Oh, low, low! No. Bill Alfonso was distracted. This is the guy you were telling me about, Val, that's doing it for his kid? Well, it takes anything, anything to be done for your family. Sometimes, you know, desperate times call for desperate measures. And you can't fault a guy trying to get contracts out there for his child, his one-year-old daughter. Listen, I'm up here, he's in the ring. You're right, I have no place to say it, but from this man looking on, he's going about this all. Well, you're, you know, you might not be wrong, but if contracts get signed, contracts get signed. Latimer now again being dumped all the way to the floor. Noah Kakoa is having his way in this match now. And you're right, as you said before, Kyle, with that 605 minute time, Noah can take his time 
He can breathe, he can collect himself. And do some real high impact oh. offense. Face off the apron there goes Tom Lapp. From the outside looking in, Boca once was known as a retirement community. Tonight, will Tom Latimer as TV champion be retired? I mean, it certainly looks like Noah Kakoa is trying to retire Tom Latimer, not just from being TV champ, but potentially from his entire wrestling career with the way that he slammed his face onto that apron. I think we're seeing something come out of Noah Kakoa. There's something more to this. There's frustration that's not just this match. I mean, you heard the fans booing him. It's hard to be second guess your entire rebirth of your career. How brutal to that feel. Only one man oh knows the answer, and that's minute. Noah Kakoa. Kakoa was throwing a kick. I think it went a little low. Latimer, inverted atomic drop, but you can see that he's still suffering from these low blows from Kakoa. Is this Tom just on autopilot, though? Does he even know where he is? Well, he is trying to get to lucky number seven, so I think that's all he's focusing on. Kakoa sent to the turnbuckle again. Latimer has him come down hard, trying to deep six Kakoa. Cover, hook in the inside leg, shoulders down, look at the defend, kick out. Tom's still feeling the effects of everything that happened prior, keeps on going for it. Now, you might know this, but uh, certain hits in certain places, they have long-term effects. Oh, true. Absolutely true. Yes, baby! Latimer looking for something big, but Kakoa had it scouted, oh my god, Tom Latimer all tied up in the ropes, that was a nasty fall. Kakoa. Opportunity, big DDT, Could new TV champ, new TV champ, oh, feet, feet on, on the ropes, ropes. feet on the ropes, kick out by Latimer. Wow, Some wants this so badly. Somehow, some way, Tom Latimer was able to kick out of that predicament. And again, you have to ask, was it a smart call from Tom Latimer to get rid of the 6.05 time limit in this match to request it? Up he could probably won. He's looking for the Hawaiian drop again. Tom Latimer going out the back door. Pop up! The brighter side of suffering. And rolling through. There's that cross face. The cross face is in. Kakoa's got nowhere to go. Center of the ring. It's in deep. Oh, he's tapping. He's tapping out. And the winner of this match is still Get ready to witness the greatest spectacle in professional wrestling as the National Wrestling Alliance presents NWA 75, our 75th anniversary pay-per-view extravaganza. Live from the legendary Chase Park Plaza in St. Louis, Missouri, Saturday, August 26th, and Sunday, August 27th. History will be made as NWA World's Heavyweight Champion Tyrus and NWA World Women's Champion Camille defend their prestigious titles, while EC3, Matt Cardona, Chris Adonis, and countless other stars unleash the fury of intense competition. Tickets are available now, starting at just $29.95. Secure your seats today at NWATix.com and take your place in the storied legacy of the NWA.
of Whole Lotta Woman. And the sparks are flying here in Boca. Oh yeah. The sparks are flying. MJ Jenkins is our women's champ and she is a whole lot of woman. You know, I've known MJ Jenkins for probably over 10 years at this point. She's such an incredible athlete. So right, but she's always here to have fun, have a good time. She sings herself to the ring. Shoulders down, hook in the leg, kick out. 
Ruthie doing everything she can. She's trying to make that tag. Cutting the ring off right there. That's just good tag team wrestling. Not just pretty, also empowered. Trying to stay in there right now. MJ getting the crowd behind her. Little motivation to make that tag. Ruthie fighting from underneath. Shots to the midsection. Picking double leg takedown. Jack Knight. Oh, yes. into, the, into the tag. In comes Jenkins. In comes Jenkins oh. with a close line. <laughs> big back elbow. Oh, oh my God. Planted her on her head with that big slam. If there's anything that Jenkins doesn't stand for, it is disrespect. She will not take it, but she will dish it out accordingly. The big neck breaker by the BRCW Women's Champion. Could this Double be leg, it? And then all oh. broken up by Kylie. And let the record show, it is the birthday week of the champion herself. MJ Jenkins is celebrating a birthday this week. The best gift would be a big victory right here. Absolutely. Boca versus the world. Super kick by Paige. Ruthie J. Tag. Coming in the ring, however, at a disadvantage. I mean, these two young ladies are sisters. How do you fight MJ sisters? Jenkins isolated on the outside. Oh my God, Kylie. And now a double team. The women's champs kind of been taken out of the Kylie oh, Cutter! Oh, Kenzie Cutter! Kenzie Cutter out of nowhere! Wow. The moment of this match. They came to fight, and they came to win. Big victory for the Page Sisters here in Boca. We'll be back. Wrestling fans, get ready for an action-packed spectacle like no other as the National Wrestling Alliance presents two thrilling nights of NWA Power TV tape things. Mark your calendars for Monday, August 28th and Tuesday, August 29th as the shockwaves of our monumental 75th anniversary event bring the NWA back to Skyway Studios in Nashville, Tennessee. Witness the passion, the grit, and the raw athleticism as these modern-day warriors clash in pursuit of glory and championship gold. Don't miss your chance to be part of this unforgettable experience. Grab your tickets now at nwatix.com and secure your chance to feel the power. The National Wrestling Alliance, where history lives and legends are forged. Yeah, he just ate fireworks, ladies and gentlemen. That is the type of competitor that Silas Mason is. Did, did we just see that? Yeah, he is. Did that just happen right in front of us? Silas Mason will walk through hell with gasoline bridges if it meant Hope Gold in the NWA or with BRCW. And he's proven that right now. Lightning fireworks are coming out here. One of the biggest matches of his career. I can barely get his introduction out there because I witnessed that right in front of me. I, I mean, I need to get you glasses. That didn't just happen, did it? I wonder how it tastes. It tasted like hot. I'm great now. Spice. I'm great now. He does have that protective eyewear on, though. I just.
So when I count to three, let's give him a big fat yeehaw. All right, folks, go one, two, three. Yeehaw! Now watch me kick this young man's ass. Wow. Set the tone early on is the champion. But not eating fireworks. Yeah, that's, okay. well, it's not the way to start the game. I mean, that's part of it. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not part of any diet anyone should ever have. Uh, but Thrillbilly don't care. But Thrillbilly does care about that all-star championship. He's already holding it above his head. Is he holding it the right way, though? Probably. Give does he know how to read? Give him the belt. Give it back. That's probably amazing. not. Yeah. He probably. Or maybe he did, and then he ate those fireworks and forgot. Yeah, do not eat fireworks, anyone watching at home. Reading is for people that aren't that tough. He gets by. No, reading is for tough people. Okay. Yeah. I was you can Bella's be tough. Right, and here we go. Do not eat fireworks. Do not eat fireworks. <laughs> We're really trying oh, to get the minute. crowd into this. I gotta say, his boots are very impressive, those Thrillbilly Mason oh, yeah. boots. Yeah. Silas Mason is an incredibly dangerous individual. Speaking of incredible people, though, I remember Mark Long on MTV programming. To see him in the ring right now, I mean, that man has overcome so many challenges on reality programming. You mean to tell me reality might not be real? Oh, no, it's very real. He's even been on the challenge. The challenge, and he's in for a challenge right now with Thrill Billy Silas Mason, showing those biceps. And speaking of celebrities, you know, who brought that up, Johnny Bananas in the challenge, also in attendance here at BRCW at the Black Box in Boca. And the godfather of reality television won that very title at our last show called The Challenge Accepted. Challenge Accepted. He beat Matt Cardona for that title. Of course, Matt Cardona, former NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, current Deathmatch King. Indy God. God. Sorry, Indy God. I, he changes it every other week. He's Constant reinventing. Oh, brilliant. Shoulder tackle takes down the Thrill Billy. Mark Long, 240 pounds. Imposing force. Is he wrestling in jeans? You yeah. know it. He is. Especially in the stupidity. You get acclimated to it, Joe. Yes, also, that might be why he still has those on. He can't get them off anymore. That's a good point. Collar elbow tie up. Mark Long scooping him up, but oh, Thrillbilly escaping out the back door into the side headlock. Thrillbilly Silas Mason, perhaps going to slow this match down. Try to grind out this reality television star who has become a champion wrestler. Yeah, he's one of the mainstays here at Boca Raton Championship Wrestling. Oh, down goes Mark Long. Big shoulder tackle from the biggest man who ever lived. Almost tripped up by Long. Long was looking for the hip toss. Block. Oh, a wreck of the eyes. A wreck of the eyes by Thrill Billy Silas Mason. Southern Six style. Was that a rake of the eyes or was that a flip of the mullet right to the eyes? Either way, Southern Six style. It certainly is. Fair enough. Still don't get it. There's only four of them by my count. Always a mystery with the Southern Six. Silas oh, with a big chop to the chest. Silas. Strong win. Yeah. Got him up. Oh, big hip toss. And Mark Long, the champ, is alive. Another big hip toss on Silas. Got him up. Oh, my gosh. Oh, had to just go down hard. Incredible strength there by Long. Using his momentum for him there. That's a smart man right there. Why and, fight and physics? Go along with exactly. it. Exactly. And Silas Mason looking for a timeout. I don't I don't on know. The outside. I don't know if the beating of the fireworks affected his noggin, but you don't get to call him for a timeout. Yeah, you Fonzie's saying no friend, no. Well that's always just throw Billy Silas Mason. The fireworks had nothing to do with it. Oh, that's just yeah, the way yeah, his brain is fired. Okay, yeah. don't eat fireworks, anyone. I cannot reiterate that. Yeah, no. Well Mark Long and we're gonna make fireworks and potentially retain that championship, but he's gonna wait for Thrillbilly to get back in this ring. And otherwise, Thrillbilly, he has his danger of getting counted out. Right Pretty now. sure that Mark Long is a firework. In fact, maybe he is a firework. Yes. I can't sing it. No. <laughs> no, oh, but Silas Mason gets 
the advantage. And now dragging long. He's dragging all the way to the outside here. Oh no, he's going to the post. Oh no, oh, no, 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 don't do this. No, no, no. Silas. No, no. Hey, get some space and no. Trapping the legs. Oh, oh my gosh! Trying to peel the jeans right off the man. Split right between the uprights. And Mark Long. That, that had to be paid. New job. Give me a job. I beg you for it. Silas has long out on the outside. Oh, he's pulling the shirt up. He's pulling the shirt up. Oh, and a chop to the chest. Silas back in the ring now. It's a big time opportunity. Once again, championship match. The RCW All Star Championship belt. Oh, the hand. Silas Mason, 245 pounds, comes crashing down on the digits of Mark Long. Won't play the piano tonight. I don't know the name of the but he certainly never has yet. the finger. What's Silas, what are you doing? Oh, he's what hungry. Are you doing? He's looking for his own version of catering. Oh, it's in his mouth! My God, he's biting him like a rabid raccoon! Out count. That's all I'm going to say. Wow. Boot across the chest. Could he win the championship this way? Not with that cover. Come on, that's just disrespectful. This is the godfather of reality television here, Silas. He's getting a dose of reality now from the thrill bill. Dragging on. Keeping his leg on that second rope coming down. Oh my god, all the way tearing at the tendons in the knee. It's not easy. No respect. More of a CMT guy than an MTV guy. figure that, that Thrill Billy weighs in at? About 250. Okay. All right, so he's got about 10 pounds on Mark Long, but that is a whole lot of weight going on to the oh, knee joint. Oh. So it's a little unbalanced and unhinged. That's usually the advantage of that is too. Absolutely. And there it is, a sign of the Southern Six, the fish hook into the mouth, into the mouth. Fonzie so will not have any of that. I'm already making a break. Yeah, and Fonzie has roots in ECW. Like, I mean, uh -oh. he came from ECW. Silas, Silas, what are you right thinking? Comes to the pool, no water in the pool. The thrill, Billy. The point of the elbow landing in the canvas. And Mark Long, he's found his second win. Blocking the punch. Here comes Long. Unloading on the thrill, Billy. Open hand, overhand chops. Hammering away. Off the ropes. Oh, shoulder tackle, flying shoulder tackle by Long. Yeah, Mark Long getting amped up, getting the crowd behind him. Thrill Billy looking quite a bit dazed. Oh, Tracy Smothers chopped to the throat. Shut up. Just brutal. Thrill Billy picking his spots here. Smother in Long in the corner. Here comes the Thrill Billy. Oh, he got caught. Oh my gosh! That could have really devastated the, the nether we regions roll of the thrill belly. Oh, he's ah! smothered and gone! Yeah. Yeah. The winner of this match is the RCW All-Star Champion, Mark Long! One miscalculation by the thrill belly going for the big boom. From this vantage point, though, I'm not sure if Drew Billy's shoulders were down. You know, I think that there, that is definitely debatable. I'm not exactly sure. We're going to have to go ahead and check the tape on that. But either way, the decision's been made. Mark Long retains here at BRCW. He remains your All-Star Champion. We'll be right back. Get ready to witness the greatest spectacle in professional wrestling as the National Wrestling Alliance presents NWA 75, our 75th anniversary pay-per-view extravaganza. Live from the legendary Chase Park Plaza in St. Louis, Missouri, Saturday, August 26th, and Sunday, August 27th. History will be made as NWA World's Heavyweight Champion Tyrus and NWA World Women's Champion Camille defend their prestigious titles while EC3, Matt Cardona, Chris Adonis, and countless other stars unleash the fury of intense competition. Tickets are available now starting at just $29.95. Secure your seats today at NWATix.com and take your place in the storied legacy of the NWA. Thank you.
scouted. They call it high risk for a reason. Martinez clutching at his abdomen. I mean, he could have burst an appendix in there. I mean, there's so many organs. Yeah, a lot of damage in the back suplex as Martinez comes down hard. And Kerry Wharton strutting his stuff, telling what everybody here at Boca can do to his posterior. I mean, he's a champion. He's allowed to have confidence. However, look at it now. Martinez taking advantage of the fact that Kerry thinks he's untouchable. Big time clothesline for Morton. Morton who beat Homicide in the hard times three in New Orleans win that championship. It's been so dominant for so long. It could end right here in Boca. Slingshot into the vertical suplex. And look at the calisthenics now. That's just rude. From the junior heavyweight champion. Making it look all too easy. Flexing and doing push-ups and now just mocking his opponent as Martinez rides on the middle of the mat. Coming off the ropes, drops the elbow. Wait a minute, right on the oh. chest there, knocking the air right out of him. Going up for both knees. Taking care of the adductors and the abductors. Carrie has gone over, gone after every extremity on Martinez. After medical. Let's go out. Jump out makes the big bucks here. Yeah, 15 years of roller derby. When you tear almost every single ligament and bone and joint in your body, you kind of know what they're all called as you have to have them surgically repaired. I only know abdominal muscles because I don't have them. Fair enough. Martinez with the reversal, sends Morton into the turnbuckle. Gets sent over to the outside. Oh, a forearm! A forearm rocks the champ. Martinez, oh, got caught! Got caught and hung out to dry on the top rope. Draping over the top rope, can't quite reach the mat, and now Kerry Morton has other plans in mind. Oh, oh my God, just came down hard. And look at that. That was ugly, but super effective going in for the knees. Pal, he wants you to do yeah, things. Yeah, he, want, he wants you to say nice things about how he is. I, <laughs> you're your own person. You don't have to what do it. I said um, future legend. That's there you go. good enough. Yeah, I feel like that is. But Martinez definitely has some damage done to the knees on that top row, but now the abdominal stretch put in by the junior heavyweight champion, digging his fingertips into those abdominal muscles. Now the point of the elbow, and Martinez is suffering. And that is just so brutal. What Kerry's doing right now is just so, so mean. He's not a good person. Uh, well, I mean, he's a nice enough guy until you get in the room. Okay, into the cover. Actually, until you get to know. Side leg kick out by Martinez. <laughs> I do remember before he went overseas, yeah, I don't know what happened when he went down under. I think things just changed him. I think he's just a different man. I think that you're right because I mean, I met him when he had a broken wrist. Like he came to Chicago, he wrestled with different promotions that I worked with in Chicago and he was so kind and he was so nice and so polite and now he's just a different spirit altogether. Someone got into his head and somebody told him something that he believed too truly and now we're stuck with this man. Kerry Morton, the NWA Junior Heavyweight Champion, Better. You can't argue with the effectiveness of how much he's been able to defend that championship. Oh, he's just bobbling the face of this who has Martinez. Oh, Martinez. Oh, Martinez! Wait a minute. He caught him! Head scissors! A Frankensteiner! Off the middle rope! Martinez! Oh, split the head! Oh, oh my god! His head went into the knees! His head went into the knees of Kerry Morton! Oh my god! But did it do damage to Kerry, or is he just did. laughing it I up? think it did damage to both uh, men. My goodness, that was a horrible fall there by Martinez, and it could just be moments now. Martinez could have cracked an orbital balloon right there, Joe. Yes. That was rough. Up onto the shoulders. Martinez fighting back. Oh, what a drop kick, and where is this coming from? Crowd is just riling him up, Joe. This is all about the opportunity, the chance to be a champion in the National Wrestling Alliance, be a part of the biggest stages like NWA 75. Don't lay up, Martinez. Keep going. Opportunity, you can be champion. Missed with the moonsault. Oh. Right there, German suplex. Snap, German. No wasted momentum. He's going for it again. He's going to be doing it. The split leg. He's oh. And there it is. He can do it. He can do it. Shoulders down, kick out by Martin. Don't let up. So close, it can be yours. Kyle, 
now Carey's calling for a timeout, and Carey's spending so much time talking to the announcers with that he's not even recognizing that his opponent, Martinez, has got so much momentum on his side right now. Morton is either trying to make his own moment here and buy time, or he's just playing with Martinez. You can never Martinez. tell. He's I don't trust Carey Morton. Morton. He's looking for that GTS 2S, looking for that GTS 2S maneuver, and oh, oh. Morton! Clubbing blow to the back, shutting down S2S. Right to the base of the spine. Smart move by Kerry Morton. Morton dropping the knee pad. No, 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 no. Kissing goodbye. Kissing goodbye! Oh, he got it! Oh, no! Full Went into the turnbuckle! Went into the turnbuckle! Oh. Martinez! Oh, missed with the forearm. Here we go, swinging DDT, he hangs up. Oh my God, hung him out on the top row. Martinez coming down hard. Martinez is a family agony. You're right, Val. This could be all she wrote. That's why he's a champion. Deep cover, kick out. Kicks out. Still in this, the crowd feeling it. Carey is wasting so much time. If he would have just not been so cocky, he could have had a pin right then and there. If you believe you are the best thing in existence when somebody proves you wrong, you don't know what to do with yourself. That's what's happened with Carey Martin right now. Spanish fall. Into the cover. Into the cover. Two. Champ. Oh. 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 <laughs> Martina's so close. Oh, I love wrestling so much. Carey Martin's not loving yeah, wrestling Kerry's right now. He's hanging on by a string. Suffering a Spanish fly, but trying to fight back. Forearm to the face of Martinez. Martinez standing his ground. Oh, just trading blows back and forth and back and forth. You have to question how intelligent this is. This is just prime. Oh! Oh my God, Martinez! Martinez coming alive! A series of blows, kicks, strikes, punches. Martinez is unstoppable. Kerry Morton just covering the nose. Oh, goes in hard. Oh, oh there it is. Kiss it goodbye, the knee strike. Folded him right up. Could this be it? Into the cover. Kick, Kick out. out. Oh. Kerry Morton's got something on. Wait Look a minute. Showstopper. Showstopper. The elbow drop. Got him. Just like that. Wrestling fans, get ready for an action-packed spectacle like no other as the National Wrestling Alliance presents two thrilling nights of NWA Power TV tapings. Mark your calendars for Monday, August 28th and Tuesday, August 29th as the shockwaves of our monumental 75th anniversary event bring the NWA back to Skyway Studios in Nashville, Tennessee. Witness the passion, the grit, and the raw athleticism as these modern-day warriors clash in pursuit of glory and championship gold. Don't miss your chance to be part of this unforgettable experience. Grab your tickets now at nwatix.com and secure your chance to feel the power. The National Wrestling Alliance, where history lives and legends are forged. Four. 
right there. Or Bull James will get hungry and just eat him for lunch. Yeah, just a tasty morsel. Back to the corner by Bull James. Some size and strength advantage. Now playing mind games with him as well. Tussling at the hair. You know, I just realized we did not get a ukulele serenade this time. Yeah, that's very unlike Daisy Kill. I was kind of surprised, honestly. Yeah. All business Daisy Kill, apparently. I mean, this is, again, a heavy task ahead of him, so maybe he was just really centered in and focused for this main event. Bull's body confident there, so when you say heavy task, I think he's okay with it. Oh, absolutely. He's a strong gentleman. Who said that? Bill Alfonso, referee for this match as well. Who would have thought I'd see Bill Alfonso in an NWA BRCW ring today? Delightful treat to have such a legendary referee in this match as James. You never know where you're going to get. Just like right now, Daisy Kill has no idea where he's about to go. Oh, wow, again, tussling at the air. At the hair, I should say. Oh! Daisy Kill, I mean. Bull is so strong. He's rocked physically and psychologically at this point. I don't even think Bull knows his own strength. He barely moved him. Like, he just oh my God. And shoved him into two different states. A single leg takedown that almost was like a spine buster for Bull James. And holding on to the leg. Beat me too, Joe. I was going to say, I've never seen anybody lift somebody with a single leg before yeah, like that. Just the strength of Bull James. Crowd 
wants it. Cole there wants it. it. There you go. I think the only person that didn't want that tag was Daisy. Definitely Daisy not wanting it. No. Double back elbow. Gangrel into the cover. Shoulders down. Kick out by Daisy. Deep I mean, cover. If I'm going to die, it might as well be at the hand of Bull. Excuse me, Bull James. Excuse me. And uh, Gangrel. I feel like if that's a good way to go. Everybody's well, got their something. I think we just figured out what yours was. Exactly yes. right. Daisy Kill kicks out, trying to stay alive in this match. He desperately needs to make that tag for the towering Talos and does. Seven feet tall, an absolute giant. Speaking of not knowing his own strength, Talos there. There's no way that man knows what he's capable of until he does it.
Fonzie. Not Fonzie. Oh, down. No, no, no. Fonzie. Gangrel's down. Everyone's down except for the towering Talos. We don't have a ref. We don't have a ref. This is, this is the kind of energy that we are used to seeing here in Boca. Referee's getting knocked unconscious? No, from Jack Talos. Oh, no, no, from no, no, Talos. No, no, no. He's got that table. He's got that table that was used for the contract signing. Japan style. Those tables are a lot That's, stiffer oh, yeah. than what no, you would get usually in the United States. There's no give. There's, there's, there's no give. This is what we've come to expect from Talos. Unfortunately, this is what I'm used to seeing, and it really is just so disappointing because he was a former champion here in Boca Raton Championship Wrestling. No way. He's got the hand. He's no way, not Bull James. Oh, my gosh. 325 pounds. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Gangrel's on his feet. Oh, no, no, no. Got blocked. Got blocked. Pick up. Down. Turnabout fair play. Boom. There goes the towering Talos. What is Daisy thinking? Oh!